EES, which is pronounced EASE, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. The videos in this section have all discussed the built-in functions in EASE that allow you to access various property information for several different types of fluids. This video introduces property plots in EASE, and these are automatically generated plots that EASE will build for you using these functions in order to represent these fluid properties graphically. Property plots are commonly used in thermodynamic cycle models. Years ago, property plots were used to estimate properties themselves graphically. However, even though now property information can be attained in more precise means, like these functions in ease, property plots are still pretty useful in order to visualize thermodynamic cycles and processes. So cycle states and process trajectories can be understood a lot more easily if you overlay them onto plots that have property coordinates. And so these are plots like TV plots and TS plots and pH plots. Different types of property plots can be automatically produced by ease by selecting property plot from the plots menu. And then the property plot dialog that results is, is shown here. Property plots can be produced for any of the built-in ideal gases or real fluids as well as for brines and then psychrometric charts can be produced for air water vapor mixtures and you, you select the type using these radial buttons at the top of the dialog and once you've selected the type of fluid you select the uh, specific fluid from the list uh, that appears here in the upper left of the dialog window so then the type of plot that you want to make is selected using this list in the upper center of the dialog uh, by just clicking on whichever radio button corresponds to the to the plot that you're interested in. Uh, the allowable plot types themselves will change uh, depending on the type of fluid. Uh, the lower half of the dialog provides you with the opportunity to enter uh, constant property lines. So here you can enter up to six values and these values will be used to generate lines of some constant properties. So for example isotherms and isobars or isocores. Um, the constant property choice depends on the type of property plot that you've selected. Uh, so for example, uh, you can put lines of constant pressure and lines of constant specific volume or constant enthalpy uh, on a, a TS plot as, I, as I'm doing here. Um, suggested values for the constant property lines are automatically generated by ease and they populate this, this dialog, but they can be changed or deleted based on your preference. Uh, the constant property line is plotted only if this checkbox preceding the edit control is, uh, is checked here. So if you don't want to uh, generate any constant pressure lines, for example, then just make sure you deselect the, the checkbox here uh, right next to include lines of, and then there will be no uh, constant pressure lines uh, generated on your plot. Property plots for real fluids will include the vapor dome, um, the checkbox here at the bottom of the dialog, and labeled show lines of constant quality is only going to be visible for real fluids. And if you check this box, then you'll see lines of constant quality uh, drawn inside of the vapor dome. The temperature specific entropy plot for ammonia that's produced using these default values is shown here. Um, you can see uh, the isobars and the isocores. Uh, here you can see the lines of constant quality. Uh, the labels that identify constant value lines can be moved and uh, you just click on the label and, and drag it to wherever, wherever you'd like. You can modify these labels just like you can modify any text box by double clicking on it. Uh, you can modify the representation of the constant property lines themselves if you just double click on the plot and then change the format for the correct data series. So Ease automatically selects a maximum temperature for plots involving temperature, so TS, TV, and TH plots. And the value that it automatically selects might actually be lower than the maximum temperature for which the property correlation is valid. And if that's the case, uh, then what you'll see is a max temperature controller here in the dialog. Uh, the max temperature used for constructing the plot can be increased by just moving the slider control <coughs> to the right. Uh, and you'll notice then that the temperature corresponding to the slider position is displayed here at the left of the controller. And if you want, you can just type the temperature you're interested in uh, directly into this edit box, and that'll set that temperature as well. Uh, if you select an ideal gas rather than a real fluid, then uh, of course there's no vapor dome. 
Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, the property plot behaves in exactly the same way. So here's the TS plot for the ideal gas fluid air. And you'll see there's no vapor dome, but you know you have lines here of constant uh, specific volume and constant pressure. Finally, notice that in any of these property plots, you can change the color of the line uh, in the dialog box directly here using this line color selection tool. So this is one of a series of tutorials meant to describe the operation of the Ease software. If you'd like to get more information about Ease, obtain the software, or access more of these tutorials, uh, please go to the website fchart.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, which can also be obtained from the FCHAR website.